In my previous video, I've discussed about the concurrent forces resultant and now we're going to discuss about the parallel forces resultant. So, parallel forces resultant, which means literally the forces are parallel. The resultant of forces are not known. Unlike in current current forces, you can predict the resultant already in terms of the forces shown in some diagrams. So, for the resultant, the magnitude, direction, and position, we're going to find this, the magnitude of the resultant, the direction, and the position. So, it also involves moment equation when, when solving parallel forces resultant. And it also deals with different types of parallel loads. For example, the simple load, the uniform load, and the uniformly varying loads. So, I will, I will going to discuss that later on. In parallel forces resultant, we're going to deal with these formulas. So, gagamitin natin to sa pagsusolve ng ating resultant sa parallel forces. So, ang unang-una natin gagamitin ay ang itong formula na R is equals to F times distance, which is the resultant times the force times the distance or the moment arm of a certain force. Gagamitin natin itong formula to solve for magnitude and the direction of the resultant. Now, for number 2, which is the summation moment, which is, which is equals to force times the distance, so solve natin dito ang moment ng mga parallel forces na nandoon sa ating mga given problem. So lahat ng parallel forces doon ay solve natin and then times its moment arm. And then for the number 3 formula, which is summation moment, which is equals to R times the distance, Gagamitin natin itong formula to find or to solve for the position of the resultant kung saan siya nakalay sa ating certain structure, for example, a certain beam. Since from the second formula, makukuha na natin ang value ng summation moment of all the fo parallel forces. Pag sa number 3, magiging known ang moment dito and then known din ang resultant since na-solve na natin from the formula number 1. Ang unknown dito ay ang D, kaya hinahanap natin ang position ng resultant. Let's apply all those formulas dito sa ating problem 1. Na hinahanap natin ang magnitude and the position of the resultant. So, meron tayong figure dito na overhang actually to. Meron naman siyang support at the end which is a hinge and unsupported siya pagdating sa other end. Na hinahanap natin ngayon ang magnitude. So, gagamitin natin yung formula kanina which is R is equals to summation of forces. So, R is equals to, i-add natin tong lahat ng mga forces and mind, dapat be mindful of the sign of the forces. Like here, example for 30, dapat negative 30 siya kasi going down ang force. For 60, negative din. And then for 20, it's positive it's because going up ang force na to. So, 20 pounds will be plus 20. So, next is 40. Going down siya, so negative 40. So, R will be equals to negative 110 pounds. Don't forget the unit. To base answer natin sa resultant, ang answer natin ay negative. Ibig sabihin, ang resultant ay going down ang kanyang direction. Ngayon, alam na natin ang magnitude ng resultant, pero hindi natin alam kung saan siya nakalay dito sa ating beam. So, hahanapin natin ang location ng resultant, pero kukunin muna natin ang moment ng lahat ng mga parallel forces dito sa given problem. So, let's start the problem with summation moment A. So, dito tayo magmo-moment. Ito ang A, support A, or the point A. Summation moment A, which is equals to the force times the distance. So, let's assume that all clockwise will be positive. So, sisimulan natin ang pag-solve sa 30 pounds. So, 30 times 2. Positive siya kasi clockwise ang ikot niya from here. Paganyan, so positive clockwise. Ang moment arm naman niya ay 2. And then, Plus 60, positive ulit kasi pa ganyan ang pag-ikot. And then, ang, ang distance niya is 5, 5 inches actually. And then, the for 20 pounds, baliktad naman ang ikot niya. Ang ikot ng 20 pounds ay pa ganyan, pa ganito. So, it's considered as counterclockwise. So, counterclockwise will be considered as negative. So, negative 
20 times its moment arm is 7, which is 2 plus 3 plus 2. So, 7 inches. Now, for 40 pounds naman, negative, eh, positive siya because ganito ang ikot niya, same sa 30 and 60. So, positive 40 times ang moment arm niya, o ang distance niya ay 4 plus 2 plus 3 plus 2, which is 11 inches. So, kung i-add natin to lahat, summation moment at A will be equals to 660 pounds inch. So, yan ngayon ang ating moment. So, since nakuha na natin ang moment, Pukunin na natin ngayon ang location ng R. Madidetermine na natin gamit itong formula, yung sinabi kong formula kanina, yung number 3 formula, which is summation moment is equals to the resultant times its moment arm. So, isa-substitute lang natin ang mga value na nakuha natin kanina, which is ang R, pati ang summation A, summation moment A. So, 660 is equals to 110. 110 lang, hindi na natin i-consider ang negative sign niya. Kasi, ang negative sign, it means only, it only means that the force is going down. Kapag positive yan, ibig sabihin, ang resultant natin is going up. So, ito negative. So, going down, hindi natin isali. Times the distance. So, pag input natin to sa calculator, the D will be, or the distance will be 6 inches. According sa ating answer, meron tayong magnitude ng resultant ng negative 110 pounds na ang layo ay 6 inches from the support. Kasi sa moment A tayo nag moment, which is from the support. So, ibig sabihin mga 5 and then dito sa gitna, the resultant will be located here. The magnitude is 110 pounds. From here, going to the support, will be 6 inches. So, that's our answer for our problem 1. Let's solve another problem. Next is this problem. It's solved natin to. Same kanina. I-determine lang natin ang magnitude and the position of the resultant. So, based on this diagram or this figure, we have a 2 support roller in the hinge. Meron tayong isang point load going down. And then, meron din tayong a uniform load. Uniform load ang tawag dito na 10, 10 kN per meter. So, ganito ang kanyang unit. kN per meter. So, kN ang gagamitin natin ngayon and the meter. Unlike kanina which is pounds and inch. So, first things first, isusolve natin ang resultant. So, summation of all these forces. So, R is equals to negative 5. It's going down. And then, negative 10. Kasi going down din, pero multiply mo ang distance niya. So, times 3. Ganyan. multiply mo ang kabuoan, kabuoan ng, ng force na to. So, ang 10 ay hanggang 3 meters. So, 10 times 3, then negative 10. So, pag ikakalculate natin to, alalabas na negative 35 kilo newton. So, don't forget the unit. And next, isosolve naman natin ang moment. Same lang din kanina. Pero ngayon, magmo-moment tayo sa B. So, let's say it's A. And then, ito ang B. Ang B natin ang nasa hinge. So, mag dito tayo magmo-moment since mas madali kasi mas malapit ang uniform load sa support B. So, magsa-start muna tayo sa, sa 5 na force. Ang 5, ang ikot ng 5 ay pag ganito. Pag ganyan, ganyan ang ikot ng 5 which is negative. Let's start sa force 5 kN which is, ang ikot ng 5 kN ay pag ganyan, which is pag ganito, which is considered negative. Kasi, i-assume ko, always ako nag assume ng pag moment, ang clockwise is positive, ang counterclockwise naman ay negative. Positive ka clockwise, counter is negative. So, for 5, magiging negative 5 times its moment arm or the distance from the force to the point of mo kung saan kayo magmo-moment. So, since dito, mag-moment mag -moment tayo sa B, so ang moment arm niya is 6 meters. Minus, again, itong 10 kN kasi 
ang ikot niya is counter. And then, times 3. Kung gano siya kahaba itong ating force. Kung ano yung una-occupy niya na distance sa ating structure. And then, next. Kita times din natin ang kalahati. Hindi pa to yung moment arm niya. Ang moment arm ng uniform load ay ang kalahati ng distance nito. For example, this one is 3 meters, ang distance ng uniform load natin. So, ang ating moment arm is 1 half of its distance. So, magiging 1.5 meters. So, yan na. So, masasolve na natin ang summation moment B, or ang moment ng mga forces natin, which is negative 75 kilonewton meter. The last step will be locating the position of the resultant sa ating given na beam. Agagamitin natin ang formula kanina, yung summation moment. Sabi tayo nag-moment, so summation moment B. The resultant times its moment arm. So, hanapin natin itong distance ng resultant para malocate natin ang kanyang position dito sa ating given beam. So, ang summation moment B natin ay 75. Hindi ko naisasali ang negative kasi ang hanapin lang naman natin ay distance. So, hindi naman yung magni-negative negative ang distance natin. So, ang 75, which the moment, and then R, 35, times the D. So, kung input natin to sa calculator, ang D natin ay lalabas na 2.14 meters. So, ibig sabihin... Ang resultant natin, which is negative 35, ibig sabihin going down, makikita natin siya from the point kung saan tayo nag-moment, and then hanggang sa 2.14. Ibig sabihin, ang resultant natin ay estimated na nandito. For example here, lagyan na lang natin ang ganyan. Ito ang ating resultant, which is 35 kilonewton. So, from here, up to kung saan tayo nag-moment kanina, which is from the support, the hinge, from B. So, ang distance nito ay 2.14. So, andyan ang ating resultant. Our last problem will be this problem number 3. Same lang sa naunang dalawang problem, which is to determine the magnitude and the position of the resultant. Ang naiba lang, ang given ngayon ay triangular load na. Unlike sa naunang, naunang figure, uniform and point load lang. So, for this example or problem, hanapin muna natin ang resultant, which is summation of forces. So, ang R ngayon, sa pagkuha ng R for triangular load, gagamitin natin yung formula ng area of, of the triangle. Example, 1 half base times height. Ngayon, ang 1 half times ang base natin, consider natin ang base, which is the 5 meters. Next, the height will be 25 newton per meter. Pero, 25 will be negative because the forces are going down. So, negative newton per meter. So, if we're going to multiply this equation, ang lalabas ay negative 62.5 newton. Newton na lang since makakancel din naman tong meters. So, meron na tayong magnitude ng resultant which is negative 62.5 newton going down. Kasi negative ang sign niya. Ang next step is to solve for the moment of the forces or this triangular load. Now, for moment, magmo-moment tayo sa B. So, for summation moment at B, which is force times the distance, ang lalabas ngayon which is at B, so, since ginamit na natin ang area sa resultant, gagamitin din natin yan for our moment. So, summation moment B. So, 1 half times 5 meters times the negative 25 newton per meter times 2 third 2 third of 5 meters. Now, bakit 2 third? Kasi pag sa derivation yan ng, figure, ng triangular figure or ng load, lalabas yan na from any point here hanggang sa tail, 
two-third ang gagamitin natin times the distance. Or kung ano yung distance na given sa isang figure. Now, from here hanggang dito, gagamitin natin ay one-third times the distance. So, gets. So, for our example naman, dito, man, dito tayo nag-moment. So, hanggang papuntang tail tayo ng triangle, triangular load. So, gagamitin natin is two-third times the distance which is the five meters. Now, pag ikakalculate natin yan, lalabas na ang moment natin will be negative 208.33 newton meter. Of course, don't forget the unit of our moment. Now, for our last step is to determine the location of the resultant of this load. So, agamitin natin yung formula natin ulit na for number 3 formula, summation moment, sa B tayo nag-moment, so B times the resultant and its moment arm or the distance of the resultant. Now, for summation moment B, lagay na lang natin na 208.33 equals to 62.5 times the distance. Now, kung ikakalculate natin yan, D will be equals to 3.33 meters. Ibig sabihin, malolocate natin ang resultant ng force na to from the point kung saan tayo nag-moment hanggang sa 3.33 meters. So, it means from here sa hinge as sa roller na support or from the B, kakaunt tayo ng 3.33 meters. So, probably here ang resultant natin which is going down the magnitude is 62.5 newton. So, yan na. Meron na tayong kuha na natin ang ating hinahanap which is 3.33 meters. So, that's it for today. Thank you for watching.